my channel to a new vlog and I don't believe I'm already making this vlog back to school essentials my boy is four and he's going to start school can you beat that like just two years back I dropped him to the daycare and now I'm all set making him ready to go to school crazy so today I'm going to share with you everything that we bought for our son. Maybe we overdid a little, so bear with me. Uh, but yeah, I just felt this is this might be required, and you know, there's this plan A, plan B, and I'm going to share with you so that you can take an informed decision. Disclaimer: uh, you might have a different kind of budget, you might have different brand choices, uh, different quality choices. So it's absolutely up to you. I'm just sharing what I bought for my child so let's get started so first thing is backpack now I bought two backpacks reason being uh, what if uh, the bottle leaked the water bottle leaked and the bag is wet or uh, it's raining the bag is wet or you know it, anything can happen so we need to have a spare bag right so I bought one from Amazon which is highly rated I'm going to leave the link in the description box it it, it was about $50 and then one I bought from Kato's again good quality it has everything that's required uh, a lunchbox pouch um, a bottle holder at the side it's waterproof and we got that for $38 so this is the one that I brought from Amazon very nice it has this uh, front small pouch you can keep your snack items or maybe any kind of accessories that your child is required to carry to the school and then you have a bottle holder here and what i like about this bag is it it does not have that mesh bottle holder instead it's a solid cover however the other bag has a mesh holder and then you have the main compartment of the bag so which is again very nice it has this lunchbox um, area lunchbox pouch so this is the lunchbox that i brought i'm going to show it soon and then you have this part where you can put your extra pair of clothes or any papers or accessories that your child needs and they also have this extendable uh, extendables to the zip so that it's easier for your child to zip in and zip out the bag so this from Amazon for $50 and this is the one that I bought from Kato's right so the model is a little different although I really like the length or basically the overall size of the bag so it does have a mesh bottle holder and you do have a little transparent um, pouch where you can keep your accessories when i say accessories i've heard kindergarten kids do a lot of art and crafts like they use scissors pencils erasers you know all of that can go here and then the upper zip is a little different here so the main bags zip is like this right and here it is again <coughs> you have the lunchbox pouch here and then the main area where your clothes can go in Again, this also have an extendable uh, zipper that helps for easy access. And we got this for $38. Next thing is a water bottle. You have a lot of options for water bottle and pretty much the rate is same. Like you buy it from Amazon or Walmart or any back to school store. So I prefer this kind because it's quite easy. You just press this, it opens up and then your child can drink the water and then you know this part is safe because you can just push it and it's leak proof so it's easy to navigate it has fun characters and designs and it also has a holder and my son especially really likes <coughs> this model and he's pretty much used to having water from these these kind of bottles so it goes well with him also this is an insulated bottle so your water is going to be cold for 12 hours so basically whatever temperature you're going to put the water in it's going to remain for 12 hours which is good and it's leak proof when it's closed and i bought two of these with a different pattern i bought two of these again a spare bottle so next and the one item that took the most time to decide is the lunchbox 
because first of all it's it's necessary we give a balanced meal to the child right so there are a lot of options i think one thing that i really started early on is <clears throat> buy this bent bento boxes and from the summer time uh, i would take this put a little assorted snacks inside so it looks like this it's easy to open it looks like this right so i put an assorted snacks and pick up my son from the daycare hand over the box to him so that he gets used to you know opening the box eating his snacks closing it off and putting it back so that it's not something new when they go in the school right so he has been doing this for the past 6 7 months now this is a good option if you're sending in dry snacks right um so you you're required to send one lunch okay and two snacks so i have a couple of options here i also brought this this is like a single insulated um container let's say if you're planning on sending pasta or any kind of hot food this is a good option and you can do a combination of this and this where you're giving the hot food here and you're putting in all your snacks veggies and fruits here like if you're giving carrots cucumber fruits any any biscuits or any kind of crackers goldfish all of these can go here right this box most highly rated box in amazon it's little heavy but then the best part is you open the box and then it has the snack counters and a hot case hot insulated space right here so this is like you don't have to do any combinations if you're sending this box in the bag is going to serve the purpose for your lunch and snacks right so you can have your hot food in here and it's pretty easy just close it in and you can give your let's say veggies and fruits and some kind of sweet and then just close it and you're good to go and it also has this handle and it has a lot of color options to choose from and it's for $60 it's it's a little on the expensive side but i think it's it's really good and it's dishwasher safe uh it's bpa free and of course you know a lot of parents have already used it so i bought this and i'm really excited to start using this i also brought this very simple snack box right it has like two compartments you open it and then you have these one and two like say you're just putting in veggies and fruits so you can either do this and this so you're sending the hot food here and you're sending your fruits and veggies here right so i have like so many options for lunch boxes and i'm going to mix and match through the week All right, so we are done with the backpack, bottle, and lunch boxes and snack boxes, which is essentially going to go with the child every single day. Now, what else did I buy? So I bought shoes, three pairs, right? So one a regular shoe that he is going to wear on a regular basis, of course. A rain boot because very soon it's going to start raining, and we do need a rain boots for the children. and i also bought a fall shoe or a little boot you know kind of boot uh which he can wear when it's like october end of october and november when it starts to get colder but it's not cold enough to put on snow boots um i've been giving my son these fall boots for the last two years as well and it works pretty well with him so i'm going to share those with you so these are the regular shoes of course that he's going to wear and it's pretty simple you know like just slip the leg in and strap it so good to go right so i bought this from sketchers these are the regular shoes and then and then we have the rain boots so i bought these from carters uh you have a lot of um, design options right so you can go ahead and check whatever your child likes and these are the fall boots that i'm talking about so the inside is not too thick like it's not really snow boots however it's going to keep you warm enough up to you know 
minus five temperatures so these shoes my son has been wearing these kind of shoes for the last two years now and i think it really goes well in the months of end of october november you know a little bit of december and then again march april i mean jan and feb he needs to wear the snow boots because it's snowing or it's like really cold so yeah three pairs of shoes to go oh yep this little four year old needs so much shopping i can't believe so now the jackets again i gave a lot of thought around what kind of jackets i would need because it's very different when your child goes to the daycare when it's extremely cold they're mostly indoors it's just the you know uh, the time from your house to the daycare and then back that your child really needs the jacket however it's going to be very different in the school because irrespective if it's cold or not children are going to go out to play and you know no one's going to really assist them with the jackets they need to take care of themselves so i bought two kinds of jackets one that's going to help him uh you know between 0 to 15 degrees temperature and it's also water repellent it's also waterproof so this is the one and i got this from mountain warehouse so in mountain warehouse they they're running a sale right now i got this for almost 50% discount they have different varieties there's this one section of jackets which are only uh, waterproof jackets like they're like really thin they're just wind repellent and water repellent um uh, it was about $35 and this however is multi purpose why because the outer part is water repellent wind repellent it's nicely secured and then inside once you open the zip they have this extra fleece lining as well which is going to uh protect you from the cold weather so you know it's easy if if your child is putting this on they feeling extra warm they can just open this outer part and they should be good with the inner fleece lining right and vice versa if they're feeling cold they can put back this and they'll be good to go right so this jacket in mountain warehouse was for $100 we got it on 50% off for $50 and of course there are many options colors choices that you can select from the other jacket is comparatively thicker it's this it's it's kind of you know a little down jacket however this is not uh the one that's going to support you at minus 20 or minus 30 temperatures we have a separate one for that i did not buy it yet because there's still time you know we have time until jan and i don't know if my son is going to have a growth spurt or what so we thought you know we'll buy it closer to november or december but this jacket should support until minus 5 minus 10 it's it's pretty thick right and i got this from h&m for 35 dollars and uh no there were no options i mean there there was this one one uh character option for girls and for boys it was just this spider man but then it's it's pretty light it's pretty thick and i think this is really going to keep my child warm also i bought these gloves very important uh i should have bought another pair but i want my son to first start using these and see if he's comfortable because honestly there are a lot of options for gloves you can get it online you can get it in the store i got this from carters um what i really liked about it is you know it has this waterproof outer part and then it it has this woolen inner so it's going to keep your hands like really warm right so i thought it's nice because your gloves won't get uh, wet easily uh one out of experience uh i'm telling so last year i bought this really thick gloves and um my son's hands would sweat a lot with those gloves and he would like be really uncomfortable and then the gloves would smell a lot so i thought you know he probably doesn't need such thick gloves and these should actually serve the purpose all right so the last one so i did buy a couple of you know shirts um and pants all of them from gap the children place 
um, Carter's, H&M. It's a combination. There's a sale going on right now, and all of these pieces that I'm going to show are between eight to twelve dollars each. Um, so I'll start with this. So this is a polo full hands T-shirt. I got this from the Children Place, and what I really liked about Children Place is they have this entire section called as back to school uh, polo T-shirts, which look like this. You have an option of full hands and short sleeves like long sleeves and short sleeves different colors and sizes um, um, and all plain colors right so it's pretty convenient you just buy these put this on and your child can go to the school so this is one option and then I bought a couple of these printed t-shirts you know I think this is from even this is from the children place and then this again from the children place they're all cotton very soft full hands and this is from gap they're all on sale right now and this is from carters even carters has a back to school uh, collection all plain colors you know uh, collared necks or round necks full hands uh, long sleeve short sleeves different colors so you have a lot of options to buy from so i bought a couple of these t-shirts and i also bought a couple of fleece pants so all these fleece pants are from carters they're like really nice and thick and they are 12 dollars this and this so yeah this is it uh i think you know i've i hopefully have not left out anything there's a lot of shopping that we did and i think this is just the beginning of a new era right uh they we don't have uniforms here in schools so now you know as and when the child grows big they're going to have their choices they're going to have their demands they're going to see what their friends are wearing they'll come home and say mommy i want that i want this because my friend is wearing that so prepping ourselves for that but for now i think we're good and uh, one important thing that we really did is we let a child choose like he chose he chose his rain boots he chose his shoes he chose his dresses so that you know it also makes him involved in the activity and we are like prepping him mentally for the transition from daycare to the school and it just gets him all excited um you know he puts on his backpack and then he pretends to open the lunch box and then puts his lunch box back and puts his backpack again and he like walks around so we're just kind of making him do this randomly in the house and just making him get excited about his new journey so let me know in the comments if you think i still have time there's still a week before his school begins if you think i've left out on anything important and i'll make sure that i buy it um one thing i haven't showed is the uh, label the stamp that i bought from amazon however i'll put the link in the description box uh, you you have the option of choosing the stamp there are like many designs you can choose from i chose a little panda and you can of course write your child's name and they're going to send the stamp to your house uh, in the same format i cannot show because it's not delivered yet but i'll leave the link for you to review and choose what you want for your child so all right thank you for being with me and like i said do let me know uh what do you feel about the stuff that i brought and if you think there's anything i've left out and what are you doing to make your child school ready see you soon in my next video until then stay happy stay healthy spread love Bye.